सो यस वी आर लाइफ गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू प्रीवियस ईयर पेपर सोल्यूशन क्लास सो इन द टू डेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व इलेक्ट्रिकल गेट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन गेट क्वेश्चन एंड द सेक्शन इज सिग्नल एंड सिस्टम सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विद द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन फ्रंट ऑफ स्क्रीन गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन इलेक्ट्रिकल क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू डिस्क्रीट टाइम लीनियर टाइम इन वेरियंट सिस्टम विद इम्पल्स रिस्पॉन्स एच वन ऑफ एन दैट इज इक्वल टू डेल्ट ऑफ एन माइनस वन प्लस डेल्ट ऑफ एन प्लस वन एंड एच टू ऑफ एन इज इक्वल टू डेल्ट ऑफ एन प्लस डेल्ट ऑफ एन माइनस वन आर कनेक्टेड इन कैसकेड वेर डेल्ट ऑफ एन इज द क्रोनेकर डेल्टा दैट वी ऑल्सो नो बाय डिफॉल्ट बाई द सिम्बल नेवर द लेस द क्वेश्चन इज नाउ द इम्पल्स रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ द कैसकेडेड सिस्टम इज वॉट ए बी सी और डी सो योर टाइम स्टार्ट नाउ so tell me guys what is the answer so this question is pretty simple 1 minute is enough i will give you exactly 1 minute okay so last uh, 30 seconds if two impulse response are connected in cascade this means they are connected in series so tell me what is the resultant impulse response that's all pretty simple the function is simple the concept is simple last 15 seconds okay so the countdown begins now 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 the right answer is bombay why let us see first of all the cascade system means the series concept input goes to the first impulse response so let us say this is h1 then it goes to the second impulse response so this is h2 and then we get the output okay so what happens when i talk about the resultant impulse response the resultant impulse response let us say h of n that is equal to h1 of n because we are in discrete time converted with the next impulse response that is h2 of n correct now if i see carefully h1 of n h2 of n they are given as a function and when you do the convolution it's time taking if you do time domain convolution it's very time taking so better we'll go with the frequency domain and because we are dealing with the discrete time so let us use the z transform if i use the z transform then i can say h of n transformation in frequency looks like h of z h1 of n becomes uh, h1 of z convolution gets converted into multiplication that is the benefit uh, in the frequency domain and then h2 of n converted into h2 of z now see carefully h1 of n was given as delta of n minus 1 plus uh, delta of n plus 1 correct if you do not know how to convert this function into z transform then you have to clear your basics first but uh, i will give you concepts so that there is no issue at all for you guys so you can write the concept the concept is uh, whenever you have a function of delta of n plus a the z transform of that is z to the power whatever is there here straight away to the power suppose you might get a delta of n minus a then sir ji the z transform is z to the power whatever is there here straight to the power of z got it easy pg lemon squeegee now check it out uh, h of n was given as delta of n minus 1 plus delta of n plus 1 so the z transform becomes uh, z to the power minus 1 plus z to the power plus 1 correct the next H two of n was delta of n plus uh, delta of n minus one, so we'll say z to the power zero plus z to the power minus one. After multiplication, what is the resultant, uh, sir? This thing, z to the power zero is one, correct? So we will say z to the power minus one into one, z to the power minus one. This thing into this thing becomes uh, z to the power minus two. Next, this thing into this thing becomes uh, z. This thing into this thing becomes one. But sir, this is the answer as h of z. We need the answer in h of n. No problem at all. Use the inverse Laplace transform and get the answer. So now, if I use oops, not inverse Laplace, but inverse z transform. So if I use the inverse z transform, then I will get my answer. So h of n that is equal to what is the inverse of this now, sir? Check it out. Z to the power minus a inverse would be delta of n minus a. So can I say this thing? 
becomes a delta of n minus 1 similarly this thing becomes a delta of n minus 2 this thing becomes a delta of n and finally we have constant oops not delta of n here this is power 1 so n plus 1 and then constant is said as delta of n okay so this is the final answer we have minus 1 minus 2 plus 1 n minus 1 minus 2 plus 1 n in Bombay so Bombay is absolutely correct understood then do let me know in the comment section yes because this is method 1 to solve this kind of question using the z transform to get the answer this is method 1 there is one more way to solve this question do you want to see there is one more way check it out there is another concept you can solve this question in time domain only there is no need to go in the frequency domain why Sarji because method 2 is all about the time domain concept the concept is if you have a signal x of n when it is converted with the delta like delta of n then this delta of n behaves as wife and this uh, x of n behaves as husband if wife says you have to go to the mall husband follows to the mall if wife says you have to go to the coaching then husband follows the coaching bring your child hmm? if wife says you have to cook in the home then husband follows okay we'll cook in the home we won't order from the hotel similarly here also if a delta of n says that i will work at n is equal to zero this function also says i will work there only but now if uh, the delta is saying that i will work at n minus a then husband will follow that point right so the resultant would be x of n minus a understood this concept uh, then do let me know in the comment section yes because uh, by this concept this question can be solved again okay so now you can see that we had uh, the question uh, resultant uh, h of n is equal to convolution between the two time domain signal in the discrete version and h of n h1 of n was delta of n minus 1 plus a delta of n plus 1 convert with uh, h2 of n that is delta of n plus a delta of n minus 1 correct now this thing convert with this thing plus this thing convert with this thing similarly this thing convert with this plus this thing convert with this so four terms we will get but while solving the four terms be cautious when this thing is convert with this it is behaving like this what is the resultant x of n convert with delta of n the resultant should be x of n so i hope you understood this thing will come as the output so when this thing convert with delta of n this thing would be the answer so delta of n minus 1 then this thing convert with this what would be the answer guys anybody in the comment section sir if i treat this as x of n and then this is my wife she is telling that you have to go at n minus 1 so here the time would be replaced as n minus 1 so can i say here if i replaced n as n minus 1 i land up at i land up at n minus 1 minus 1 that is delta of n minus 2 similarly this thing convert with this this is the resultant output uh, therefore delta of n plus 1 this thing convert with this thing again if you treat this as husband this thing as wife wife is saying you have to go at n minus 1 so replace n with n minus 1 so n minus 1 plus 1 the resultant is n therefore the output is at delta of n so this is the concept of husband and wife in the delta function so this is method 2 in time domain you can solve or if you want to go into the frequency domain use the z transform and get the answer okay let us move forward for the next question then next question in front of your screen check it out question number 2 okay this is one of my favorite i usually tell in every class this is the most expected concept the classification of system so the question is if the input x of t output y of t of a system are related as y of t is equal to maximum of 0 comma x of t then the system is non-linear time variant linear time variant linear in time invariant non-linear time invariant so two concept check whether it is linear non-linear time variant invariant now your signal is kind of interesting so interpreting this signal is important if you cannot interpret this signal then getting the answer would be tough one minute i will give i won't give more time because this uh, signal is not that tough this question is i will say level one question so in signal and system uh, electrical 2021 uh, only few questions were kind of higher level only few majority questions were easy okay so the time is up anybody in the comment section 
or you are waiting for my answer sir you only give multiple methods you only tell me tricks and techniques hmm? from your pyq solution i will try to learn the concepts check it out first of all we'll say that the given signal y of t continuous time domain signal it is equal to maximum of 0 comma x of t what does this mean among these two values whoever is maximum that would be the output okay so let us plot this graph to give you more clarity if you want to open like this uh, mathematically speaking you can do that also and if you want to plot the graph you can do that also okay so let us uh, first mathematically see that uh, when x of t is greater than 0 like x of t is 1 2 3 4 it can be anything right suppose it is 1 then 0 comma 1 who is maximum among them sir 1 is the maximum therefore y of t is 1 suppose x of t is now 125 so 0 comma 125 who is maximum sir x of t is maximum so what is the output y of t would be 125 so therefore can i say in this domain always the output is x of t only because that is the maximum among these two yes sir ji suppose i have x of t is less than 0 negative values like minus 5 then sir 0 comma minus 5 maximum is 0 don't say minus 5 maximum is 0 i hope you understand the timeline okay from minus infinity to plus infinity that is how we are increasing so minus 5 is uh, lower and 0 is higher so maximum is 0 and if maximum is 0 y would be 0 and suppose x of t is minus 1 still answer is 0 minus 2 still answer is maximum 0 so can i say that in this domain always the maximum answer is 0 absolutely sir G. when x of t is less than 0 the output is 0 so plotting the graph is simple now as you can see this is uh, our you can say input x of t and this is the output y of t if i try to plot them this is x of t this is y of t then sir g when t is 0 when x of t is 0 0 comma 0 the answer is 0 so at this point uh, the output is 0 but on the higher side x of t greater than 0 the output is linear output is a linear graph okay when x of t is less than 0 in the negative side the output is sir under 0 flat line some students are like, see, sir, ji, the graph is a non-linear graph. Therefore, the answer is non-linear. No, no, no. In classification of system, this logics are not set. Hmm? Otherwise, you will say, sir, if we have y is equal to sine of 2 pi t, can I say it as a non-linear system or something like that? Hmm? So, you can start this start this. Okay? So, please be aware. Please be aware. Here, what we say is, we have to check the additive property. Okay? So, what we will do here is, uh, x1 of t, if my input is uh, minus 1 so where input is minus 1 here check it out then what is the respective output y1 of t sir the output is 0 suppose I have one more input uh, x2 of t at 1 then what is the output y2 of t sir when you are at 1 the output is 1 again okay so y2 of t is 1 now if I tell you then what is the addition of them let us say y dash of t is addition of the above input y1 of t plus y2 of t so 0 plus 1 the answer is 1 okay now check y double dash of t now what is y double dash it is not the double derivative it is the output when the input is x1 of t plus x2 of t okay so let me now uh, let me now copy this to the next slide and let me ask you guys if my input is x1 of t plus x2 of t what do you feel what is the output tell me in the comment section x1 of t plus x2 of t sir if you do this calculation check it out minus 1 plus 1 the input minus 1 plus 1 the input is 0 if my input is 0 then what is my output y double dash of t is equal to 0 because when my input is 0 my output is also 0 from the graph so finally i will say that uh, these two outputs are not equal y dash of t y double dash of t they are not equal and because they are not equal they are non-linear very simple only four step process first step second step third step fourth step only four step process to get the answer if y dash of t is not equal to y double dash of t we are clear that it is a non-linear system only by this you can eliminate two options 
check it out you can say that because we are at nonlinear b and c is wrong now what about a and d who is correct the right answer is delhi because uh, it is time invariant which is so obvious if you do not get it let me copy this paste it to the next slide and let us discuss on the time variant invariant concept in time variant invariant two step process first is delay second is replace if i delay delay whom delay input okay so if i delay input let us say my output is y1 of t if i delay input by k units so can i say x of t minus k zero wherever input is there replaced by k units wherever input is there replaced by it is delayed as k units okay so you can see our input is delayed by k units the next step is replacement of t to t minus k everywhere so the respective output let us say y2 of t if i replace a t wherever t is there check it out t is there here 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 wherever t is there replace t by t minus k okay so in the next step sir replace uh, again i am getting the same answer if i copy this you won't feel sad okay let me see if i copy this above is it okay for you guys check it out wherever t was there t minus k t was there t minus k yes sir ji this means y1 of t and y2 of t are same if y1 of t is equal to y2 of t then happily we can say this is time invariant if time invariant and we have non linear which option is correct non linear and time invariant that is absolutely correct so let us move forward for the third question then so the third question in front of a screen check it out now the question is a little bit tricky i will say a level 2 question the causal signal with z transform z square into z minus a the whole power minus 2 is what u of n is the unit step signal that we know so tell me guys a b c or d which option is correct now by seeing this question you might be thinking sir is it inverse uh, laplace uh, oh, sorry i always uh, see z transform and i say laplace pardon sir is it uh, inverse z transform concept hmm you can think of that but sir inverse z transform is not that easy for this signal that is also true so do you have any other method sir what if i try to think in a tangible way that i know if i have a time domain signal as a to the power n u of n the z transform is z by z minus a now if i do some kind of operation then this version can be gotten so what can be the operations think on that okay this is also giving you hint that a to the power n u of n it is common everywhere right so a to the power n u of n z transform is z by z minus a do the operation try to convert in this version then you will get your time domain signal and you will get your final answer so the time is up now it's my time to solve this question you should always know how to get hint from the question so now uh, when i saw the question 